Welcome to another edition of Brews and Cruise. I am your host, Chris Jacobson, and I am here with a celebrity, my first celebrity, 2023 Masters Tournament winner, John Rahm is here. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't go that far. Oh, <laughs> never mind, he just looks like it. However, you might be a celebrity on loop. This is Marcus Teachout, otherwise known as Teach. Yep. And he is here, and we're going to have so much fun. But he's a tequila guy, and he's the first tequila guy that I've had on. So this should be fun. And I got a special bottle of tequila when I was on vacation a couple weeks ago. That bottle right there cost over $200. You're I'm my, excited. I'm excited, dude. <laughs> you're my most expensive guest so far. <laughs> of course. And there's other reasons, not just the bottle. And I thought episode two with Josh Harrison was expensive because that was a $100 bottle. Yeah. This was over $200, but it's well worth it because this podcast has been so fun for me. But, Marcus, let's crack this bottle, and we'll get into this episode. Absolutely. Now, the guy said you can only have this straight up. So I've chilled the bottle already, and I also have, if you want any of those, you can have that. You might not need them. Okay. But he said you share this with someone special. This doesn't get shared, 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 <laughs> shared whatever, with too many people. So I'm excited, dude. dude Thank you. You're welcome. This is Oh, man, it looks good. You want me to pour my own? Should I just dump it all in there? Just dump it all in. <laughs> yeah, and you can have as much as you want. However, we got to save one for my wife. She said, I want one. I got to be able glass. to walk. So <laughs> It's only 38%, so it's not that bad. Sick bottle, though. It looks, like I said, it looks like a pineapple. It's sweet. It's flat black. It's literally from Cozumel, Mexico. I'm excited. And it is called, for those who are out there, Regalo de Dios. And... You sure I, that's how it's said? It's possible. <laughs> I could have gotten scammed. The guy could have told me this is the best bottle they had and just took $200 from me, but of course, it, it is what it is. There you go. Let's well, cheers to Absolutely. some tequila. Thank you, thank you, You're thank welcome. you. Yeah, that doesn't wow. taste like that doesn't taste like Patron. That's I'm nervous. <laughs> yeah, see, I told you this is some good stuff. And I have another surprise for you because as some of the viewers out there know, I have the shot ski board that Justin gifted to me, uh, and we will take a shot of cheaper tequila later. Ooh. But first, let's get into just who the heck you are. You are Marcus Teachout, better known as Teach for those who uh, probably know you personally. I would say yep. that's probably what your name is. Yep. And you and me, we met, well, we played basketball together that you forgot about. <laughs> that's okay. I'm a forgettable guy. It has been. <laughs> no, it has been a... It was about it six years a, ago, a, I would say. Oh, I think it's been longer than that. I started playing basketball about 2012, I think. Well, this was during men's league co pre-COVID years. So I'm yeah. talking, it was with, who the hell was on our team? Um, uh, well, Corey Robbie. Lee, Robbie Dennis. Yeah, yeah. Corey Lee. Yeah. That was the team, and we were on that. And so that's how I actually first met you, but we didn't really talk. Then, a couple years ago, you decided you wanted to buy another house, and I helped you in that process, and I think that's where we became better friends. Guy's got to go with this guy. Great go with guy. me. I love Great guy. Helped I, me out a lot. Yeah, and it was fun. I mean, we had a fun time looking at houses with your family. Yep. Your kids are wild. They wanted to test <laughs> out everything. I have a, I have a four- and a three-year-old, <laughs> yes, Owen and Miles. They are, uh, I wouldn't say the oldest one's the wild one. I think no, our second the child is. Mm -hmm. uh, he would rather sit over yeah. there and bang his head against the wall than... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's maybe an episode for another time then. I mean, we've got maybe a future wrestler here. But it's possible. Uh, well, if, well, you're going to coach him into whatever the heck he probably wants, I'm sure. Him. We'll see. Do you coach him now at anything or not? We've been out back. Well, we just got snow. So yeah. We've been out back swinging away on the, on the batting tee. Sure. We have a, Miles is the righty. Owen hits both ways. Whoa. I'm going to try and teach him to be a lefty, though. So, okay. I mean, that's pretty sick. I, I'm... If he can be a switch hitter, that's fun. Yep. Can he throw left-handed? He did when he was little, <laughs> not so much anymore. <laughs> now he grew up and figured out what <laughs> yeah. handy was. Yeah. All right. uh, yeah. But. So is baseball one of their favorite sports? Or they got multiple different interests at this age? I think it just depends on the season at this age. Yeah. Um, Owen is a diehard football fan. Okay. We'll get into that here in a little bit, oh, too. Oh, yeah, I'm sure um, we will. But, yeah, he, I coach football and basketball for the high school. Yep. Um, Are you still doing that? I coached running back for 11 years at the Winona Senior High and okay. then took a year off because of a job I had to take, yep. or I did take, and then ended up stepping away from that job, took a different job, and then they allowed me to coach, and now I'm back coaching 
the offensive line. Yeah, I actually, I think I was there for that process because you were there. I time. remember that you were at the park rec, and that's how yep. we kind of first started talking. Is yep. we were just sitting there uh, watching a game, and you mentioned that you wanted to sell your house, and my dad and I were sitting there, and you're like, "Well, here's our business card," and I know you kind of know us a little bit, but where were we? Uh, field five. Field five. I remember where we. Oh, were. that's right. You yeah. you were playing Monday night. Uh, no, I think it was actually my. We were watching my dad's team because my dad was injured at 65 years old. <laughs> hey, still swinging. <laughs> still swinging. I think we were just watching his team play is all we were doing. You came down just to see how the league was going. It was... Um, monitoring, you, basically. You yep. were monitoring. You were babysitting the adult softball yep. Division 8 league. <laughs> I, was it Monday night? Are you sure it wasn't Monday no, night? No, it was, it was Sunday uh, night. Tuesdays. I think it was Tuesdays because I had nothing going on that day. Okay. If not, it was Wednesdays. Well, wasn't Tuesdays your Division 1? It was, yeah. Oh, shoot. Then maybe it was Wednesday then. Yeah, Wednesday Could've was been. the seven and eights. Yep. Yeah, I bet yep. it was. Yeah, so it was right around that COVID okay. time. But anyways, yeah. So you coach, you coach football. Is that one that you love the most, or you like? I best? would say I love football. I would much rather be a head basketball coach. Okay. Uh, football, it's more about. I wouldn't say it's more about building relationships because you're always constantly building those sure. relationships. Um, I have been with those guys for. Years. I yeah, mean, I know. I coached junior high and started in 2010. Okay. Coached two years of junior high, I think. And then the head guy at, came up to me one day when I showed up to camp. And he goes, hey, we have a spot open. Would you like to coach the running backs? And I was like, absolutely. Cool. So that's before we were married, obviously, my wife and I, and then before kids. So Where are you from? Are you from the area? No, I am not from around here. I'm two and a half hours e-west. Yeah, wait, yeah, west, okay. west. So little, small. I played nine-man football. Oh, okay, well, what town's that then? Uh, Grenada, Minnesota. Grenada, Minnesota. Hey, so, if anybody's out there, shout out. Yeah. <laughs> shout out to Grenada. You blink, you miss. All right. <laughs> 45 oh. minutes south of Mankato. Oh, okay. So Sounds literally good. lived like on right, a farm. It's like right on the border of Iowa then. Absolutely. I could okay. walk out my front door and walk probably five minutes and I was in Iowa. Oh, gotcha. So oh. literally on the border. What, what town was close in Iowa then? Because I played golf on the golf team and I was... Spirit Lake, I think, is where I played a tournament at. A little ways away. A little ways away from um, there? Okay. Because I remember I came up through Jackson, Minnesota, and got an I-90, and I came home for the weekend that weekend. But Yep, so Jackson's even more west. I'd say it's probably another hour and a half oh, west. Oh, okay. Yep. Um, so maybe not get, an hour and a half, but an hour. But How'd you get here then? College? Came to, yep, came to school okay. in Winona State. Um, actually was committed to play football and baseball up in Concordia, Moorhead. Oh, okay. Yep, f baseball there. Um, came here on a visit. Absolutely fell in love with the area. Just thought it was beautiful here, and ever since then, I've never left. There's a yeah. This is a beautiful area that, if you grew up here like I did, sometimes we forget and don't appreciate Abs it as a kid. Yep. And then like I had friends. Uh, he was just on the podcast a couple weeks ago. Enyo. He came to our wedding, and he and his girlfriend came and did the lookout at Garvin Heights. Oh, and they absolutely. Go, this place is amazing. Yep. But people, you know, like us, we take the bus for granted. I mean, people come here and they go, "Well, you got really nice mountains there." I'm yep. like, "These aren't mountains. They're like 500, 600 feet tall." So I came on two visits actually. One was for a sporting visit. Okay. Um, came in the fall. And I fell in love with this colors were starting to switch. Sure. And it was just like, wow. Yeah. And then uh, came is. back in the spring when I was actually registering for classes. And then it was just starting to bloom. Yep. And it was just like breathtaking. So I was like, oh, I'm coming here. Like, yeah. I was committed. And then so, you met your wife in college? I did. Cool. So she was a year younger than me. Um, I met her through her best girlfriend was my best college girlfriend. Oh, okay. Not to make it sound like she was my girlfriend, she wasn't. She was my best friend, college yep. friend. Yep. As it so, and then we met through her, and we've been together for oh man, fourteen years now. Holy smokes! Married for seven. Oh, nice. I think twenty seventeen. Is it twenty twenty four? Will I've, be seven. I feel like we're still in our twenties, and like you met her when you were thirteen or something. I, that's I, what it feels yeah, like. that's what it, I mean. It's a long time. But then I forget we're in our 30s. And <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, oh, wait, it was in your 20s. Yeah, you met her. Okay, that makes yeah. more sense. Because uh, 14 years ago for me, to me, I'd be like, yeah, I was probably in high school still. No, I was in college. So yeah. <laughs> shit. It's the same. I, mean, I know. Ugh, I, I mean, 14 years ago, I was on my way to my second year, second year of school. And I was probably partying in the summer. So was, you, know, you forgot about those yeah. days. <laughs> what now, happened those days? <laughs> <laughs> now, when it comes to coaching, you said you would rather be a head basketball coach than maybe for coaching for football. What is there a reason for that? Um, I would say 
I wouldn't say that you. Ha it's more of having a little bit more control of the game. Sure. Um, now here's one my of my best friends in town is the head basketball coach here at the high school. Okay. That's how got I got into it. Um, and who's that? Kyle Martin. Kyle Martin. Yep. yep. I know Kyle. Great guy. Um, I actually we worked at Key Kids together. <laughs> <laughs> he was just looking for a summer gig, and um, he came up to me and goes, "Hey, do you have do you know of anything for the summer?" I was like, "Yeah, let me. I work at Key Kids. It's real simple. Um, I'll I'll get you a job." And then ended up getting the job. Well, he ended up interviewing for the basketball coaching job that summer, and then came to me and he goes, "I need to repay." He didn't really say I need to repay you, but we kind of hit it off. Like, sure, really started getting close, yep. and he asked me to coach, and I was like, "Absolutely, I'm all in." So. Um, but back to that question, slightly more control. I just think, I mean, there are so many ins and outs on football. I know. Um, and that's what, that was what I was going to say is I feel like football is you got a compartment here, a compartment there, a compartment there, and now you're trying to throw it all together because, yes. like you said, you were the running, back, running backs coach. Okay, I know there's a quarterback one. I know there's a wide receiver one. I know there's a line one, and that's just the offense. Yes. Now you go over the defensive side, and it's like I feel like you're like in your own little sectors, whereas basketball, and I always told my kids this when I was coaching basketball, I said, basketball is unique in the fact that you play continuously and you're playing offense and defense it's not like you okay i missed a shot now the defense runs on and plays yeah, absolutely defense. so i yeah i see what you're saying yep. on that. and it's it's yeah it's watching john he's the head football coach he does so much behind the scenes i was just like oh my gosh yeah. i mean not i don't say that kyle doesn't it's just like Oh my gosh! Like it's just full out. It's like almost another. Yeah. It's almost like two full time <clears throat> jobs behind the scenes. Sure. Because he's doing his fundraising. He's yep. doing his meetings. He's doing stuff with the MSHSL. I mean, there's there's stuff going on like. Sure. Crazy. Yeah, that sounds like it would be a lot. And doesn't he teach too, or does he? John. Yeah. Yep. John's a fire teacher at the high school. Yeah, I can only Ky imagine what that. Kyle would be like. is a, I believe, a second grade teacher at Jefferson yeah. Elementary here in town. Yeah. So then, not only are you doing that, you're doing this on the side too. Yeah. I mean, I was, I just recently retired from <laughs> coaching basketball. It was basically a volunteer position. What we we're doing though. So, um, yeah, I, I know how that feels. I, I don't know much. Of, here's the thing. I like football. I like watching it. It's my probably my favorite sport to watch, but I never really understood all the defenses, like there's a nickel, there's a dime, yep. there's this, that, and the other thing. And I kind of understand it because my friends were more into it and they would, we'd play Madden and they would be like, yeah, this is why you would run this. I'm like, oh, okay, makes sense. Yep. I always like the offensive side. <laughs> yeah, so and fun. so I work on the, like I said, it, or you said it, I work on the offensive side. You threw me on the defense, I'm lost. See, it's totally different. I'm just like, but run, they're in the same area. Yeah, I'm just like run and tackle the guy. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> it's exactly what it is, <laughs> run and tackle. But dude. now, I mean, I co like I said, I coached the running backs for 11 years. I took that year off. Well, the O-line position opened up, and the O-line coach, one of my good friends as well, he ended up, he's having a second child. Okay. Wanted to step down a little bit. He actually took the head baseball coaching job here in town. Oh, I think I just saw that recently. Uh, who is it? Steve uh, Gilbertson. Steve, yeah, I just yep. saw, there was an article on Facebook from Winona Daily News yep. that Steve yep. Gilbertson. Yep, gotcha. so he stepped down f at least for this year. We don't know if he's going to come back yet. Okay. So I got kind of persuaded into coming back and they asked me if I wanted to coach the O-line and I said it's gonna be different but yeah it's somewhat different because I'm watching five guys sure. instead of one now um the running game kind of just they kind of go hand in hand they correlate yep so I was just like he goes I'll help you and this is Steiny, he's the offensive coordinator he goes I'll help you learn some of the drills and I was like well I can get a hold of Gilby Gilby and I can talk. Gilby and I talked every day during spring ball, yep. or not spring ball, but during two a days. And he helped me out with drills. And then I, it, it's it's amazing how it just immediately comes back. And we were, I after two a days, I was running groups. Obviously, I don't know the ins and outs quite yet of the old, the whole old line, like how to cheat. I would say cheat, but like keep your hands in a spot where you can constantly win. Yeah, well, they always say if you really wanted to, you could probably call holding on every single absolutely. play. Absolutely, not my guys. <laughs> not your guys. The other team, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. But it, it's it's amazing. So, 
Well, that's good that you enjoy coaching because oh. I like I like being on the playing side. I, coaching was fun. It's great to see when the kids do something well. And I mean, I'm at like a middle school level, so it's a little yep. different ball yep. game than high school kids. High school kids are really there. They want to be there, whereas in middle school, elementary, you're getting to that level of, I'm trying it. Let's see how it goes. Well, almost like know. your parents are forcing you to. Oh, I had one kid actually one time. I was I don't know. I was yelling or coaching him a little bit, you know. Yep. And I I go. If you don't want to be here, then why are you here? My mom, my mom forced me. I'm like, oh god, there we the go. The prime middle school answer right there. <laughs> I'm like, and you know what? That was her last year. And then uh, I think she was into figure skating. I'm like, okay. perfect. Yep. You found what you like to do. So at this age, it's like I'm competitive. I want to win, but the kids are like, I'm just trying this. You out. know what? That 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 kid might go excel in that. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, good for you. At least yep. you're going and doing something. Yep, that's great. Um, Getting kids out and doing things is And the, another perk of being a coach, I almost feel like I'm like their older brother. I'm young enough, but still old yep. enough to where they look up to you. Yes. But I'm young enough to where they can still treat me like I'm their older brother, which yeah. I'm okay with. Um, but we're trying to teach them responsibility, mm -hmm. um, how to be a good man. I yeah. mean, say that I'm a great man, but... Yeah, but you're very personable, and I see because I we've been out together at you know the local brewery or places, yep. and they'll go, "Hey, coach, right? Hey, teach, how's it going?" And you're like, oh, "I coach that kid." And, and I'm like, nothing better, yeah. nothing, no, not a better feeling than that when yep. a kid comes up, they remember who you are, they can treat you like the same. It's exactly they it. They go back and talk about memories with that. <clears throat> I mean, I go back and when I go back home and I'm with my buddies back home, what do you think we talk about? We talk about sports. Yeah, what we could have did differently. I mean, we, I was a state champion in my senior year in high school in basketball. There's not a day that goes by. I have a friend. I have my group messages with my buddies. Sure. And there's not a day or two goes by that we don't talk about, oh, what, what if we would have did this? Yeah. So. But you're a master's champion, so <laughs> yeah. tell them that. Man. <laughs> Dude, that was so funny. Last year after John Rahm had won, we went to trivia at Island City, and, some, and he was Gleason. Yeah. He goes, oh, John Rahm's here. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, dude, I, I you do look like him. <laughs> I'd take it. Yeah. I mean, that guy's a good golfer. Yeah, now he, I think he now golfs for Liv and is making he does. hundreds of millions of dollars guaranteed. I'm actually in my wife's uh, <clears throat> brother's, like a fantasy league up in where she's from. Yep. Golf league. and oh, I go fantasy golf? Yeah. I, oh, geez. I forget to put my lineup in. So I'm, I'm, I'm shooting with no golfers this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's how I feel when it, people have tried to get me into fantasy football. I forget to put the people oh. in. I'm like, okay, that's I, I tried it three times. I go, I guess I'm not into this. I am that's a okay. diehard fantasy football player. Yep. Um, I was in 18 leagues last year. <laughs> Did you win any of them? I won six. Oh, what was the prize? What's the top prize you I, won? I made combined. I made over well for the winnings. I made over 1,200. Oh, that's good. So I'm mean, like, yeah. <laughs> There's some leagues that wasn't too good in. I mean, that, that yeah. happens, but <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, but it's, it, it's fun. Um, I sometimes feel like I dedicate myself too much to it, but it's, it's a blast. And it kind of correlates to what, we're, what I do a little bit now. Oh, yeah. We're yeah. going to get into that. Yeah. It's going to be pretty so, fun, too. I, I know players that I, it's, it's really weird. I, I have a weird thing that I know where people went to college, too. It's really weird. I have a f I had a friend when I was in Georgia <laughs> training for wrestling. He was into wrestling about like what you're talking about. He could om as far as I could tell cuz I quizzed him a couple of times. I don't know if I ever double checked him, but he could tell you the attendance at a wrestling event and I'm like, "What? Who cares what the attendance was?" That's wild. He could tell you who won at this year and I'm like, there's just people that are like that. Yep. They're, whatever it is, they're yep. just into it. And I feel like I'm not into any well, of that kind of stuff. I can't remember dates. To save my I sat there. What is, it, what is it? Sunday night football when they go through and they interview or like they oh, yeah. do their player names and where they're from. And I sat there and watched football this last fall with my wife. And she goes, why do you have all this useless knowledge? Like, hold, on, hold on. Hold on. Question for you. <laughs> yeah. Where did Jaron Allen go to college? Or what was his school? He said. Oh man, I'm not gonna remember what he. God, what did he say? It was something weird. It was yeah. like something elementary yes. or culinary or something. Yes. When they do that, I have no. Clue. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was gonna. I'm test actually, you on that. I don't actually remember where Jared Allen went to school, and I should know this. I don't know where he went either. I just remember he always said like culinary school or something. Well, oh, and then you have those jokers up. that go on yeah. there and just do that. Someone That's, was the elementary <laughs> one time. Yeah, I was yeah. like, <laughs> what? I should know where Jared Allen is now that I just talked about it, and now I don't know. So yeah. Well, you know, the next thing I want to talk about is. A little bit of cars. Now, it's Brews and Cruise, but again, we're not even having a brew. We're having tequila. 
Love it. First one. Yeah, this is really good. And this is, I didn't even get to test this one in Mexico. They let me test the one below it because they said, we only have four bottles left of this, so we can't crack one to Literally test it. watched him uns un unseal, unseal it. Yes. it. And I go, well, if this one's that good, the one above it's got to be better. So I texted you when I was in Mexico, and I'm like, hey, I think you want tequila, right? And it took you a little while to get back to me. I go, you go, and you said yes. A couple hours later, I go, well, good, because I already bought it. So, but <laughs> Yeah, that's when you were on your, uh, yeah, your on our, our cruise. spring break cruise yep, on yep. Icon of the Seas. But then you walked in here, and you go, my dad would love this place. Oh, this is sick. Like, my dad, my dad has a 69 Camaro that he is redoing himself. Oh, he's redoing it? He's currently at the moment. Currently at the moment. How it's long has he been going at this? Because some I guys are, like, uh, quick, and some guys, it's been a decade. Well, it comes down, I mean, you can only afford so much at a certain time yep. for funding. Sure. But... He, um, he was a body man for many, many years, so okay. he knows what he's doing. He was an actual uh, race car driver. Oh, nice. Yep, so he raced on dirt for, geez, majority of my early years. I think he raced until I was probably 17 or 18. Oh, okay. And, I, I mean, I lived at the dirt track. Sure. So I miss the smell. I tell him that all the time. I was like, you need to come over here. We can go over to Mississippi Thunder and go oh, watch yeah. the races. And so we've like, done that before. You have? Yes, and it's, I love it over there. So you see that red car back there, the red, yep, white? Yep. Okay, stock car. Every year, that was a guy that was very well known over there, Carl Fenske. Now, I don't know yep. if you know his name. I heard the name. Heard the name. So they always do a Carl uh, Fenske Memorial race, or they dedicate it. I was actually it. at last year's Carl Okay, Fenske. then you would have seen that car going around yep. on the trailer. Yep. So yeah, my dad bought that from someone, I want to say they lived about an hour away, and they redid the whole thing. Yeah, it looks clean and someone like, said hey he's selling it for such and such price and my dad said well i'll, I'll buy that yep and it's it's awesome that we have it because my dad was friends with them to begin with yep and we know his ex-wife we know his kids too and his kids are always wanting to possibly buy that back and who knows if we'll sell it back or if he'll sell it back to him i'm sure he probably yep. would if his kids wanted it that bad but i'm i'm always th they're thinking it's in a great place. Like th it's not getting ruined here. Yeah. Like we are taking care of it. So for their kids' legacy, thinking about their dad who had passed away, I'm like, well, it's in a great place right now. It's not getting abused. Oh, absolutely. And it's sitting there, it looks it's yeah. clean. And taking we, good care of it. And they uh, take it once a year up to the track, and they trailer it around the track, so it doesn't. Well, they go, don't even drive it. I don't think so. My dad will. I, I think guess it's I in, don't. May. It's the beginning. I think it's like the first yep, right, Friday in May. Pretty early in the yep. season. I do remember that. <clears throat> so we do. So he does take care of that. And like you said, it's sitting there. It's in pristine condition. Yep. I mean, it's great. It's, it's great yeah, looking. Yeah. So it's really cool because we have a piece of history in Winona. And every time we have a party here, people go up and they read that little placard that's in front of it. And yep. they know who it is. Well, anyways. Right. I mean, I walked this way and then I walked back around. And I was like, you saw me looking inside him. I was like, yep. this is this is pretty dope. Yep, like, and it, it turns on, it runs, and everything. It's loud as hell. Oh, I, it's loud. I would love that smell. Yes. yes. Oh, yeah, we fire it up. It smells great in yes. here. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, so now, are, are you into cars like your dad is then? Not as, as much. much. My dream car would be a 69 Chevelle SS. Ooh. We've been, my dad and I constantly look. Yep. Um, to fix one up together or buy one that's already ready to go? Fix one, I, well, my dad lives three, two and a half, three hours away. Right. So it's tough for me to, like, I want to go back and help him with his Camaro. Sure. It's just, man, that trek from yeah. Winona to there to back is, I can't really do that much in a weekend. Right, yeah. yeah. But I want to be able to help him. I, we've been looking. I want one to fix up. I want to put my own stamp on it. I already yep. know what I would do with it. I'd go matte black. Like the bottle. Yeah, like the, oh. <laughs> if you're watching. And like my dad, he had racing engines. He still has stuff. Oh. And I would just, I mean, oh, massive amounts of horsepower. So you could lay rubber from one street corner to the next. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. And that is my dream car, nice. I would say. 60, so 69? 69. 69 Chevelle SS. Okay. Mine, and I've said this multiple times on the podcast before, mine's a Ford GT40 in the mid-2000s now. If you've oh, ever yep, yep. You've seen Ford versus Ferrari, I yep, assume? Yep. Okay. So it's basically the remake of that. Absolutely. So they had the originals. 
Then they retroed them in the mid 2000s, and then they just re retroed it like 2020 or 2021. Yep. And they have one of the Dahl Audio Museum down in La Crosse, Wisconsin. Yep. I love that car, but it's like a four hundred thousand dollar car. Oh. And so that one might not be as obtainable, but I do like a nice '67 Chevelle SS. Oh so yeah. So I like '67 through '69 or '70 would be my. Okay. Well, so, see now those are two different body styles. They are. Yeah. So I like the one just prior. Now most people love the one that the '67 like. is the longer one, right? It's a longer truck. So, so mine yeah. would be '68 through '70. It's like '72 or something like yep, that. Yep. That's the one that most people like. Yep. And I'm more of the one before that. It's almost like a GTO look. Yep. Yep. So I like that one. Um, yeah, so you walked in here and said that. Now, you don't have any currently. You want to find one. Is that I am looking for one. I cool. wouldn't say that I could afford one right now, yeah. but I would love to have one. Well, I think you can sell some things and get one. <laughs> we'll get into that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, I work on it. But you just you got a new truck just recently. and you, uh, you went from Ram to what, Silverado? Yep, High Country. High Country. How, how are you liking that now? We Absolutely talked multiple times. Love it. Absolutely okay. love it. Because we were playing basketball together this winter. And yeah, and I you, said, you I, had, I, think I had it for a week. Yeah, I know. I knew you had it. Yeah. I was like, I saw it. I'm like, well, the white Ram. you don't Ram. see that Winona football sticker <laughs> driving around. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. And that's when I saw you on yeah. Thursday. I was driving the bus. There goes a gray Silverado. I look in the right back corner. There's a um, Winhawks logo. I'm like, oh, there goes Teach. But he didn't that's see me. me. That's no. why I texted you. I got back to the school. Probably either picking my nose or wondering what I'm going to do. I don't know. Home. You said you weren't feeling good that day. So that, yeah, yeah. you're probably heading home I'm for a I'm battling a little cold, so this ah. is going to help. This is going to help yeah, majorly. Yeah, it's alcohol from the inside. It should cleanse you. It, it feels great. I'm exactly. warm. Like, I know. I'm nice and cozy. I know. We got two heating systems. Oh, no, I don't, I'm, I'm not saying it that way. I'm just uh, like, oh, cozy. Oh, the cozy, cozy, yes. cozy. Well, here in just a moment, we're going to actually figure out the difference between that. But uh, going oh. back to the Silverado, you, so you say you like that more than your Ram then? Absolutely. What's what? I, okay, here's why I asked. The reason I asked is because I might be getting a different truck soon, mm -hmm. and I don't know what I'm going to get. I've been kind of all over. I'm not loyal to a brand. I was thinking Toyota Tundra because of the reliability, but then you're like, man, I love this Silverado High Country. What about it? Feature creature features or just somewhat? Yes. Yeah. So my Ram didn't have all of the. It wasn't leather. It wasn't. It yeah. was kind of just like the. I have a. Like I said, I had a four and a three year old. Yeah. I'm not going to have all those. <laughs> yeah. They're going to destroy stuff. Yeah, so right. I kind of went kind of the lower. It has the big, it's the crew cab, so it's bigger in the back. So yep. we could fit a car seat. My wife can sit back there if she absolutely needed to. We have a dog, too, a golden retriever who doesn't like to sit in the back. He has to sit in the front. Of course. High maintenance. <laughs> <laughs> um, but this one has, a, when I was. My tranny was starting to kick on the Dodge. Oh, yeah, that's a good time to get rid of it. Yeah, and I was just like, do I do this? I talked to the wife about it. I was like, do I do this? Do we, do I just hold off? Everything was, I mean, we, everything was paid off. The truck was paid off. My yep. wife's car is paid off. I was like, do we do this? Like, do we add another payment? Yeah. Well, it's a tough thing. When we get into the, what we're going to, yeah. <laughs> You'll look, go back <laughs> on this. We'll discuss more. We'll come back to it, but, um, I was like, you know what? Why not get ahead of this? Get something newer, less miles. Yep. The tranny's already starting to kick. If the tranny goes out, I'm screwed already. Yeah, you might as well get rid of it before that because that's going to be a huge bill. And I was just like, you know what? Let's just I'll take a leap. And mm -hmm. drove up to uh, Mauer Chevrolet. Joe Mauer? I believe. I, believe, I have no Hey, if Joe Mauer Chevrolet, yeah. if you're out there listening, assuming this is where the deal is. I need an is, autograph. <laughs> yeah, we need an autograph on the leather seat. I do have an autograph pad of Joe Mauer. And I have an autograph photo of him on this final day uh, when he took his like last catch. For the that last would day. be a sick photo. It's, it, it's him waving and then it was signed by him. I think I bought it at the State Fair. I bought it there because I knew that it was it was authentic. That is sick. And then I also have a Joe Mauer baseball that's autographed, but it was autographed like his first year when nobody knew who the hell he was. Still. And I still and I have an autographed Joe Mauer jersey as well. Damn. I guess I must be I must be obsessed with Joe Mauer. I didn't even know. Wow. But I like the heritage of Joe <laughs> yeah. Mauer because he's a hometown guy Absolutely. that played for his hometown when he could have probably gone to the Yankees and got a championship or two. And oh, for he, sure. Yeah, and he stuck with the Twins. And that makes him... Uh, so, Joe Maurer, if you're listening, we would you love to cast. meet you. Yeah, we'd love to meet you. I will come on the cast and be... I'll just 
hang out with my mouth open. Yeah, and I'll buy a th another microphone, a third one, so you can talk. <laughs> yeah. I'll have to sit off the no, screen. Like, <laughs> no, no, no. I can widen up the angle, and then he Ooh, can sit right next perfect, to you. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So let's uh, – now. okay, you've had this tequila. Okay. And you say it's smooth, I right? probably should finish this one. Yeah, you finished that one. Mm. And you're saying it's pretty smooth, huh? Mm-hmm. I see what – this doesn't taste like the tequila that I recall. The tequila I recall is the one we're going to do a shot off of. I'm – I'm a little nervous. Have you ever had Jose Cuervo? Oh, who hasn't? Well, you've been in college. <laughs> I've been in college and I hate tequila. <laughs> so, uh, for some of you who recall, Justin from episode uh, well, eight or nine, whatever, it was one of the two. It's some, it did blend. He brought a, he brought a <laughs> shot ski along and we're going to do a shot together. Oof. Now, I brought two different, I got the Jose Cuervo. You choose. Well, I'd rather go with gold if I'm going to do I'll it. I'll go white. Because I have a feeling I might make a goofy face that people are going to laugh at me about, but that's okay. I already know I am. Look, I'm already making the goofy face. <laughs> and you're the one that requested tequila. Now I want you to taste what shitty tequila tastes like. Oh, the smell is just different. I know. It... Yeah. Oh, God, it makes me want to gag. I hate tequila. <sighs> Here's the funny part. I hate tequila. Okay, that's all I'm doing. I ain't even pouring I'm, I'm going fall out, man. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Oh, God, there it no. Is. <laughs> so anyways, I might have to. This is going to take me a little bit. I, don't, I hate tequila. I'm a little nervous, to be honest, because I know how that's, guys, that's smooth. I'm telling yes. you. That is you don't else. need anything with that. No, and that's why the guy said you don't mix this. And, okay, so just a little background for some people who are listening and wondering what the heck. Um, if when you get, this is what the guy said, agave, when the plant becomes older, it tastes smoother like this. It's the younger plants that make it like this, where they're not as good. And these are the ones like Jose Cuervo, if you're watching. These are the ones you mix with whatever it is. I don't so, know what so you my mix. My question is why, 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 why ruin the plant? Just let it get, keep getting smoother. Well, because people won't buy that all the time. <laughs> they I will buy it. a dollar bottle like this more than they'll buy a $200 bottle of that. But, um, but so the it, $200 bottle is such a better investment. A, like it's just... <laughs> investment is yeah, yeah, yeah. up for debate, <laughs> but we're going to do a shot of the shot ski. So oh. if you're watching at home, when we tip it up, you're going to say, it's going to say brewski on the bottom and you may see me throw up afterwards. Cause good luck to you. This sucks. Just get ready to lick your palm or something for the salt. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. I didn't prepare for that. I, I just wanted you to taste the difference bit. of this and that, but you said you've already been in college. So you've had this and now you know that that's way better. This reminds me of like market, like, <laughs> 12 years ago. <laughs> if this is anything but tequila, I'd be like, oh, I can muster through this. But when I asked you, I go, what, what do you want? You go, nothing minty and nothing cinnamon. And I'm like, well, fireball's off the table, and so is Rumble You know what? I would have done fireball. I should have said that. I knew, okay. I knew as soon as I texted that, I was like, damn it. I would have done fireball. But that's okay, because now we're, we have tequila and tequila on the same episode, and now we're going to be able to go, okay, this is why that one's way better. Are you ready? Oh. I am not. You ready, sir? I am That's bad. That's so bad. It's still resting. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, God. Guys, I'm not kidding. Here, I have water for us. That goes from... Dude, that's nasty. That's like... I, I'm trying to explain how it, to even... It tastes like just having rubbing alcohol compared to I have to tears not. in my eyes. I know. But we did the shot ski. Now, Alex and I, last week, we did not do the shot ski because we were having old fashions. So having a shot of bourbon... A little, a little harder to... I don't know. You don't have shots of bourbon, do you? I don't know if people do shots of no, bourbon. You, no. Nah. Bourbon's like one of those things you sip on. But anyways, Ooh. good job, Argus. Uh, we made that one work. <laughs> oh, God. I'm going to smell like tequila for the rest of my life, I think, after that one. Dude. Okay, so now we know why. Let's get I'm back not, into yeah, this. Yes. Something? Oh, of course. I get you. We still have another half of episode to go, and we're at 33 minutes, so. Oh, what? It yeah. feels like 10 minutes has mm -hmm. gone by. I know. That's why I always tell everyone. I'm like... You guys, once we get rolling, it's going to go by fast. That might be a little bit of a heavy pour, but it's okay. That's okay. It'll be my last pour because i got to save one for the wifey. She wants to try this because we didn't get to try it when we were on. You uh, to get her on. She was on episode one. Oh, I did know that. God, I start watching. That. Jeez, <laughs> I did know that. Hey, guys, Marcus doesn't watch the <laughs> episodes, just so you know. I do watch, guys. This is fun. Brews and Cruise, get on it. Dude, okay. 
So now we're going to get into this fun part because I think this is where people are going to know you from if they're actually listening. Some people. <sighs> they know because I plug it in the comments. <laughs> I said, Teach Fat Hands is coming on. And if you don't know what that means, we're about to explain it. Marcus is big into trading cards, as was Ted. And if you remember, Ted was on an episode a few weeks ago. But Marcus works for the place in town that he is repping on his sweatshirt. Yep, right here, guys. Northland Breaks. Northland Breaks. And it's owned and operated by a local person, Ty Sticks. And they... Great guy. Great guy. He is into so many... He did my concrete in my driveway. <laughs> Great guy. Isn't that funny? He's Do anything for you. He, he has so many different ventures in life. He, was, he poured my concrete. <laughs> I hired him to do the concrete. He's into trading cards. I remember, and he might still be doing this, he had pizzas at the high and low at one point. Ty yeah, Sticks pizzas. Not, he did talk about that, but I do not know, honestly. Uh, and also, I believe he was also a... Uh, he can. He's an ordained minister to that. I do know. Yes, yes, he is. My cousins. Yep. And he can marry you if you want to. So the guy is. He does everything. One of a kind. Yeah. But he will do. I I'm gonna almost say anything for you. All right. Well, he uh, is we, awesome. Yes, and so we are going to do something fun again. Now, the last time we opened up some boxes of cards and we just kind of looked through and we discussed a little bit, but Marcus is going to take us through. What they do at Northland Breaks because it is addicting. Addicting as in it's almost, if not gambling, because you are getting a chance to buy cards yep. if you want. But I'm not going to explain it that well, so I'm going to let Marcus so, take well, over. But let's go over the background of how you got into this, maybe. So I've known Ty for about as long as I've actually known you. Okay. Um, but coming back into coaching this last year, um, another, the receivers coach and I were talking and we were like, we didn't know there was a card store here in town. I didn't even know what the hell Northland breaks meant. Me, me neither. Yeah. And we were talking about it and we were just like, cause guys, ever since COVID hit sports cards have went skyrocket. So it's like Bitcoin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe cardboard coin, but it's cool. Like, I mean, this, yep. my kids are now involved, which we're trying to get into. We, yeah. But anyway, um, we were talking about it, and we were just like, what, well, why don't we go – our first home game, we had a superstitious thing. We came down to Northland Breaks. It's a brick-and-mortar shop down here by the Mississippi, yep. owned by Ty Sticks. The company started off of uh, a shoebox underneath his bed. Um, Blake, his son, a 10-year-old, said, let's get into cards. Or, like, let's, let's start looking at cards. Yep. And – well, Ty goes, whoa, look, at that guy's a shoebox. It, the company actually started off of a Patrick Mahomes rated rookie quarterback or Patrick Mahomes rated rookie card. Yep, and it's, it's still in the shop. It is. That is front and center right when you walk in. Yep. And it's right on the counter. That is the card how the shop started. That's cool. Which is badass, in my yeah. opinion. Um, so, yeah. And I've known Ty for a couple of years. So anyway, we were first home game. We had the first game of the year. We were just like, you know what, let's go down there. So me, the receivers coach, and then Steiny, the offensive coordinator. Yep. We I went play down. softball with you guys. Yep, yep. So you I play know. softball. Yep. Yep. Um, we went down there, and it was our ritual to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> did you get some wins off this ritual? <laughs> we did. Well, not early. Okay. But late. It took a while for the ritual to kick in. It did. It did. But anyway. <laughs> It did. <laughs> but anyway, we, we would buy a box, and we would rip it before the game in the coach's office. That's cool. Us three, we would buy uh, sleeves. I have the sleeves right here. Ooh, you brought goodies with I us. I did. So this is like a normal. It's, they're called card sleeves. We call them penny sleeves. Okay. You get 100 in a pack. Good so cards go in here. So if you're watching right now, it's like the little flimsy. It's not the hard yep. cases. If you're listening, it's just like a little thing that you can move. It's like a plastic case is all it is that you can move. Is Correct. All it really is. Correct. And then we have the top loader. Top loader. Which is the plastic case, which protects the card. Yes. And I didn't know they were called top loaders when I was little. Because I was into Me this neither. as a child as well. All the way from about kindergarten till 
I would say, I can tell you right about where it stops, is about 1999 or 2000. And then I would buy a pack of cards here and there, not knowing what I was doing. Yep. But there's so much more to this. I have, so, a, I have a long story about that, but that could be another podcast. Uh, no, um, no, no, no. We no, got time. No, you, that's a little more personal, but we'll talk about it. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> yeah. Okay. If it's personal, I, no big I mean, deal. It started, I started card collecting when I was younger. Gotcha. I mean, my grandpa would take me into the local yeah the local mart take a pack down rip it and i'm like the worst card you could possibly have in the card thing i would think is the coolest i know because you don't know well see now here's the funny part folks that are listening there's things and i didn't know this back when i was little they were called common cards now they're everyone calls them base cards yep now they're called base because yep. if you looked up you would get, <laughs> every month i would Every few months, my parents would let me get a Beckett magazine where I could look up how much Dude, things cost. Same. <laughs> yes. I would go to Target or Walmart every, I wouldn't say every month, but every two or three months, yep. and I would buy the new Beckett magazine. Yep. And I'd look, and I'd look, and I'd find my card, and I'm like, oh, it's wow. worth 20 bucks. <laughs> ah, shit. I'm rich. <laughs> yes, I'm rich. And then the common cards are like 20 cents. Yeah, that was, it was a common card. Basically, if it like a slap in the face. Basically, a slap in the <laughs> yeah. face. Well, uh, I didn't know that they were placed in there specific, and you're looking for the rare one inserted that's in there. So you, you're right. I would. I have all these common cards of like Michael Jordan. I'm like, oh, I thought that'd be worse. No, it's worth like a dollar. I'm like, oh. Which oh. is, you know, you know what's surprising is that wow it's michael jordan yeah but you know what as those cards maybe go away maybe they'll be worth something i kept all my common michael jordans and i don't want to say this but i think once michael jordan actually passes i think this stuff's gonna go skyrocket yeah so i'll hang on to that because i have so many of them well anyways yes i would get the beckett magazine and i didn't realize they were basically what you guys call us firewood and you <laughs> You guys said, yeah. you go, this is fire. I came in the shop one day just to see the operation because I had never been there. And there was this huge box of just I was cards. I was there, wasn't I? Yep. yep. You're the, and yep. I go, well, what the heck are all those cards? Because you had them all laid out. And this is where we're going to get into this more detailed. You had all these cards in a box. And I go, what are those? You go, that's firewood. I'm like, I mean, like, they're just crappy cards. Nobody wants them. Yep. Goes, so basically, basically? The, base, the base cards. Yep. I go, what do you do with those? You go, I just throw them. I'm like. I have students that would probably love those. You go, take the box. So that's the best part about it is any teacher that comes in and wants yep. them, why not incentivize mm -hmm. your students yep. to do their homework? Coach Steiny, his wife's a teacher at the middle school. Yep. I gave her a box of cards. Yeah. You know what? Incentivize your kids. You know what? You get a homework assignment done, you can have a card. You, you get, know, I mean, well, best way possible. It's get, trying to get out kids, for me. Trying to get kids back involved. I mean, because once kids get involved, this is going to only keep, it's going to keep growing. It's helping us get our cards up in value. Absolutely. absolutely. <laughs> See what we're doing Clearly. there, America? <laughs> yeah. I'm sipping on tequila, raising the value. <laughs> well, you're right, though, at the incentivize. So I took it, and I didn't know how to do it. And I said, okay, how can I incentivize the kids? I said, if anybody gets an A on their test, test only, you can grab as much as you can get in a handful that is awesome. Yes, and these kids have been working their tail off because they go, when they turn in their test, and they go, did, did I get enough to get a handful of cards? I'm like, well, I haven't graded it yet. Hold on, you know, like, give me a minute. So much so that That's <clears throat> awesome. the teachers are like, I had another teacher come up and go, so these cards, they're kind of becoming an issue. I'm like, if they become an issue, you take them away from them. And um, Absolutely. This is even funnier. Yes. One kid... Bought six or seven base cards for thirty dollars from another kid. I forgot to text you that. One kid goes, "Yeah, I just sold like six of my cards for thirty dollars." Oh, this other no. kid, I'm like, "Those are all base cards." Because they go, "How much are they worth?" And I don't want to be like, "They're firewood, basically," but they're not. But for, because but for them, it's it's gold, which it is, is cool. It is, yes. And my four and three year old, you've you've been to my house. There's cards. Yes. Guys, there's cards absolutely everywhere. And if I tell them, well, they're not, you know, they're base cards, they're not worth much, the kids are like, oh, then I don't give a crap to, you know, try to get better scores on my yep. test. But I go, I don't know, you got to look them up. And but if, go, you, okay. if you get them hooked, you get, I mean, kids strive for things. Yes. And that's, that's huge. And yeah. I, I love that, that you do that as a, and I have more boxes for you if you need them. So oh, we I have boxes come. all the time. Dude, the cards nowadays do not look like the cards I had when I was a kid. If the card, if the base card on some of these 
were in my pack when I was a kid, I'd be like, there's the rare one right there. Oh, it'd be back in the day, it might be yeah. hundred dollar card. Nowadays, I'm like, oh, that toss, toss, toss. I mean, toss, some toss. of some of the cards they come up with. I mean, the designs is insane. So this is funny. You said when we were there that day, you're like, you're like, ah, they're like worth a quarter. So I took all those with me and my buddy Josh, who you now know, who was on episode two. Yep. He goes, yeah. He goes, I see a box full of quarters. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, that's one way to look at it, but first you gotta sell that box of quarters. Yeah. So it's just you know you're trying to sell that, cardboard. That's or funny how he, he said goes, that. Yeah, he goes, yeah, he goes. They might think of it as each one's worth a quarter, but I just see a box of quarters. I go, and yeah, but first you gotta sell it too. Don't forget about that portion. That's the hardest part is. But these kids, they're they're paging through them. They're like, I got a Kevin Durant, I got a LeBron, I got Anthony Edwards. I'm like, yeah, that's awesome. That's great. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And as long as they show. The emotion, um, yep. emotion, right? Yeah. Yeah, I would say the emotion. I mean, that, that it's got to make you feel good. Like, I saw kid, one kid rip, rip up a Justin Fields card. Rip it up. <laughs> He's not a Chicago fan, and oh. the other kid is a Chicago fan, and he he got an A on the test, I think, and he ripped it up and threw it in my trash can in front of the other kid. Yeah, that's a mean. That's a mean kid. <laughs> well, one's a Packer fan, one's a Bears fan, the other's a Vikings fan, I think. So you know the NFC North, how that goes. Yep. Okay, now let's go into. Your back. Okay, so you said, Grandpa, Dad, whoever took you to the local card place, just yep. like my parents did. Yep. Get a card. You're just through the roof. Yep. My grandpa, my dad, they would take me in. I mean, I've been obsessed, absolutely obsessed with sports my whole life. I, you still are. I, oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah I have, still it's are. a major problem. Like absolutely. I come home, I don't turn on movies. I don't turn no. on the news. I don't turn on these talk show hosts. I'm putting on. Dude. Bas college basketball's on over there. I turn on yeah, NFL. We're, by the way, we're watching March Madness over here right yep. now. And it's uh, North Michigan Carolina State. versus Michigan State. And Michigan State is keep holding their own. But it is March Madness season. Go on, though. But um, constant. I mean, my brother is 16, or, yeah, 16 months younger than me. Complete opposite. You, you have a brother? I do. I do. Oh I have two, actually. Total opposite, huh? Yes. So my brother, I wouldn't say my, my 16-month-old brother is total opposite. Um, he would rather come home and like put cartoons on when we were younger. Sure. Mine was straight Sports Center. Um, I'm not more like you too. My yeah. kid, my friends were watching like cartoons and that. And I'm like, no, I watched like ESPN and MTV. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah exactly. <laughs> yes. And I would come and pardon my take. You guys watch that show? Yep. Pardon my take. Um, not pardon my take. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. The one where the guys debate things. Yes. Yeah. And I would come home and at nine years old and i'd rather put that on yeah i don't know what the hell they're talking about but if they're talking about sports that's all it was that's yeah, all that that's matters exactly it and um i just went off with that and my brother would come home like we had our certain tv time my brother and i were very active we were both three sport athletes so i mean we wouldn't put tv on right away yeah. unless it was winter time we would come home and put it on um but we were always outside doing stuff. But sure. when it was nasty out, we would go inside and watch TV. But yep. we both had a half hour of TV time. And he usually went first in cartoons. And I was like, oh. And I was, once that half hour was up, I was like, oh, we're done. And I took the remote from him. And I would go, it's, it's sports time. It's sports time. And then my, my dad and mom never really liked watched sports unless it was like major. Mm -hmm. Like we're, I'm a diehard Vikings fan. Okay. You are too. Yep. Um, Probably not as much as you, I bet you. But anytime the Vikings were on, we would try to put it on TV. My dad was, this is going to be sound strange, was a Colts fan. Why the hell? Are, I looked at him, the, I looked at him oh. the other day, I was like, why the hell are you Is he from Baltimore at all? No. Is he from Indianapolis? He's from, he's from North Central Iowa. <laughs> I was like, North why the hell are you a Colts fan? Yeah, usually, I, you know, here's the thing I learned in college. Iowa people... They kind of gravitate to either the Chiefs or the yes. Vikings, usually. You mean? Because they're yeah, kind of yeah. they're in, in the mid, middle. In the Midwest. Same with baseball. Or, yeah. There were Cubs fans, usually because the Iowa Cubs oh, are down there. Oh, don't get me started with that. No, we won't. Oh. That's another podcast. I have uh, <laughs> Gilby, or Steve Gilbertson. Yep. Guys, we're right on the Wisconsin-Minnesota border here. You know, everyone yep, knows they that. should know that by now. I've mentioned it multiple times. Gilby was my best friend in college. Yep. I have never had a guy that made me hate the Packers and Badgers more than that guy. <laughs> and the Cubs. Yeah. I did not mind any of those teams growing up. But once I met Steven Gilbertson, <laughs> Steve, Steve, 
Hope you're listening. Steve, you suck when it comes to <laughs> wanting us to yeah. like sports in Chicago. Absolutely could not stand him. <laughs> yeah. And it, that made my Vikings-Packers rivalry so wor- so much yeah. worse. It's so, the fans that do it. It's not the players. The players don't even care. They're probably from Florida anyway. So it it is the, guys, I'm not kidding. It is the fans. Yeah. Because really, Philadelphia fans are ruthless, I hear. I would love to go to Philadelphia and just get – so my college roommate – Went to, I guess it's not Philadelphia, but he went to Chicago. Pack, he's a Packers fan. Okay. Went to Packers versus the Bears at Chicago, or in Chicago. Okay. Sounds fun. He said it was the worst experience of his life. They were throwing beers. Yeah. They were dumping nachos. It didn't matter. The guys would go, people would go spend $15 on nachos, and they would just grab it and throw it at him. <laughs> oh, my God. That's a waste. <laughs> Oh. To people down there, they don't care. I guess not. It's rivalry first. The funny, funny part is the guys on the field probably care less than anybody because most of those guys are not from the area. They're probably from well, like exactly. Florida or somewhere. Totally well, and they change they change teams every three or four years anyway because yeah. contracts are so up. They don't and care. It's the fans that care. It, it, people don't care. Like whatever. It, it, you know what I said? I said there's two times that the Wisconsin and Minnesota could be in the finals, and it's in Major League Baseball. Or with uh, the NBA, and I thought it'd be the coolest thing if you could have that finals or that World Series. Now that you just brought that up, it'd be so awesome. I never thought of that. Yeah, I thought I, I always think of That's that because I'm interesting, like, interesting, dude. Can't do that in um, can't do that in football. Well, all you can in the do same is, conference. Yeah, all you could do is maybe have the final NFC game. Championship. Yep, That's about the most you could but do. That is very cool. I just talked about that with Alex last week on the podcast here, and I was like. Two small market teams, probably not going to bring the, the best ratings, but we would all have a blast. <laughs> but I think it would be kind the, of neat, The though. ratings thing is so oh. – I still think people would tune in because it would be like if the Mets and the Yankees had a World Series. I think people would and tune again, in. Again, two other teams that would – Yeah, you would meet. be like Subway Series. Yep. Let's, that's Absolutely. awesome. Yeah. But much rather be the Brewers and Twins. Mm-hmm. Much rather. Much rather. Let, let's have Timberwolves and Bucks this year. Timberwolves are doing Deal. great. Let's do it. That, that would be... Guys, not going to lie. Ant Edwards. He's the man. He is the Closest awesome. thing to Michael Jordan. Even Michael Jordan's uh, not praising even, him. Not he, I mean, Kobe was there. Kobe was Kobe a dog. Kobe is awesome. Kobe is a dog. Yes. Um, Ant is amazing. Ant Edwards. I just watched today. One minute of Anthony Edwards dunks <laughs> yes. is on TikTok, and I'm so, like, yes, I'm yes. glued. And that dunk against Utah was oh. sick. I, I was watching that live. I was actually, guys. I'm a breaker. You'll find out over here soon. Yeah, he breaks. I was. Uh, yeah, he, like we're it. getting. We're getting there. <laughs> um, I was watching that live, and I had to get up out of my chair. Oh, and shit. walk away so people yes. didn't know that I was sounding like I was a child. Yeah. It's yes. fine though, <laughs> dude. That is so cool though. I watched that. I didn't, wasn't well, watching it live like you, but I was like, well, we've what? talked about going to a Wolves game. We need yeah. to go. You know who else wants to go? Gritty eighteen. He wants to go to a playoffs game. Gritty. Gritty. I don't want to give him away because he wants to come on the cast. Gritty, we need to go. Gritty I know 18. Gritty. We're you going. guys will find out why. I know Gritty, but we know gr- I know Gritty. We all know Gritty. <laughs> we're not even getting to that yet, no, but we're get getting that. there. Let's get okay, to that if you want. So you are a breaker. What does that mean in the sports card world? So a breaker means that we put a bunch of product out in front. Okay. Um, I have my iPad right here. Ooh. He brought his iPad. Now hold on a second. I gotta get to the as you guys can see, I have a wheel. For those who are watching, he has a wheel. You want to hold that, actually? I can hold it for you, yeah. If, if you're okay with that? Absolutely. So what we do is that we start all of – it's, it's basically, basically an auction. Um, we start everything at a dollar, and you bid for your spot to spin for teams. Yep. Um, obviously, we have set amounts where you can bid for – you can set it down if you want. You don't have to okay. hold it. But um, you, you, you spin. We have set amounts set for multiple, sp- multiple spins, I yep. would say. So I'll just say two spins. Spin two, pick one at $45. Yep. So what you would do, and then it climbs up to a max of five spins, pick four. Sure. So what we would do is, I'm going to push this aside a second. That's fine, yeah. Um, somebody hits that that $45 mark, I'm, I'm just throwing a random number out there. We would take this here. 
So if you're I, watching, he's spinning two times, and you get to pick one team yes, out of the two spins. Correct. And you've just spent forty five dollars. Correct. Correct. Yep. Okay. It's, 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 I wouldn't. It's almost gambling, but it's not. Yeah. It's it. It, it, you're going to get something in return. You're going to get something in return. So the only thing we don't send is veteran base, which we were just talking about, the base cards. Yep. We do not send that to um, our customers. Unless they request it. Unless they request it. Yep. So basically what we send is inserts, so cards that look like a different design. And you'll find out if we hit some. Yep. And <laughs> I have multiple stuff here. Um, inserts. Case hits, we also have those yep. here with me. And then we also have numbered cards, which I also have with. Um, so what we do is when somebody gets that, we go, oh, this person's taking down two spins. So what we do is we spin it, and this person lands on the Raiders, and then we spin it again, and you get the, the Vikings. On, wow, Raiders or Vikings. Cool. Raiders or Vikings. So Obviously now you get to choose Minnesota those town. two? You get to choose those two. So spin two, pick one. Okay. The person so, will go in the comment chat or comments and chat or the chat and kind of comment and say, "I want the Vikings." All right. All right. So what we do is we take it off and we. This is an app. We use a spin wheel app. We hide it. That's how it's done. Um, and now the do Vikings are all the- completely full. And now the Vikings are off the wheel. The Vikings are off the wheel. So now I basically own the Vikings of all those cards that so, come out. So of let's box. just say we put we put five boxes out in front. Yep. Any Vikings card that's not a vet base, unless you request it, yep, would go to you. Sure. Um, so now any card that comes out of those boxes that are Vikings, I can have. Correct. Perfect. Correct. Got so it. So we go. We we we. Where there's a downtown. Okay. I'll show you a downtown. I have one with me. Yep. Um, there's times where we put it higher than that. Sure. Just so people know that we're we're here for you. We want people to keep coming back. Absolutely. Like, we we respect you. We we want you. We we appreciate you guys here. But this is the woodshed. Okay. We also have the Northern Light. The Northern Light is not on the wheel. This is a team pack. So. This is Northland Breaks is certain stuff, Woodshed, and the Northern Lights. So we also entice people to, we try to get people to buy multiple teams. Yep. So if people buy multiple teams, this is a team box. So whatever team comes out of here, you win this. So this if there's a, a Vikings card in there, I will get that one. Correct. Okay. Correct. Awesome. This is the one that has a slice. As you guys can see, it's right here. It says Woodshed. Yep. And if you, you have want... to spin to win this one. Yes. Spin to win team. Nice. So the Northern Lights, if you have a Viking, you're going to get it. Now, yep. if the Viking comes out of the Woodshed, I don't it, get goes, it. it does not It, does it only not goes to that one correct. specific person. Correct. Got you. And that's the one you want to hit because it has a possible two hundred dollar value Pro- or somewhere close to correct. And, and then sometimes we flirt above it, Ooh. just to I mean, yeah. just show customer appreciation. Like, absolutely, you guys are here for us every day in and day out. Yep. Why not give you something better than? And not saying that we won't go higher. Sure. Uh, that's our. I mean, if we keep growing, that's our future. Yep. Um, the Northern Lights is a hundred dollar ceiling. But there's still good stuff that comes out of I this. I actually won one of those. You did. I had the Packers, and I won a Devontae Adams. And when they said Devontae Adams, I'm like, ah, oh, crap, the Raiders. And they turned the card over, and I'm like, oh, wait, it's Packers. Yes, my, yeah. it's my yeah. card. Yes. And I looked it up. It was worth about 70 bucks. And Which so was, we have a $100 ceiling on the Northern Light. But sometimes we also flirt with sure. that, too. Yep, and mine was already graded. It was a PSA 9, I believe, when I got it. So it was cool. It. It is fun. It's kind of addicting. It's very addicting. And, so, you know, I see people on there. They're bidding multiple, multiple teams. And I know that's the idea. If I do it, it's like one or two teams max. And it's about, I would say it takes about you're, an hour, hour and a half. You're somewhat un- unlucky. 
I am somewhat. <laughs> you got, ye- folks, ye- just so you know, <laughs> I usually get the. <laughs> I usually get the damn for uh, sorry the Redskins or the Commanders. Yeah, he he lands on the command. He hops into a lot of mine. I'm a big voice. Uh, if you guys would log on to Loop L O U P E, it's an app. Um, you'll see Northland breaks. We are the leading NFL breaker on Loop. They, uh, yeah, I never see you guys doing much other than that. And if you go on to Northland breaks, it's yellow and black. And if you're watching, it has like guys, a, literally this logo. Literally the logo on YouTube. It's uh, it's got black lettering. It's got a yellow background. Very easy to spot. If you go on there later in night, usually teaches on there breaking, and you know it's him. And I just texted him the other day, and this is no offense to the other guys that are there, but I go, you hype up cards that may be worth five. 10 bucks, you make them sound like I just got the best card in the world. And you know, that's what you got to do. Well, I appreciate that. Yeah. But and well, it's everybody, all, all the breakers have their different personality. Yeah. Um, I've learned so much from the other five or six breakers. Yeah. I would not trade anything. I mean, I, I'm loud in general. Yeah. You are. That's good. Um, that makes Gleason, it exciting. We, we go back to Gleason. Yeah. I was coaching basketball and he goes, I can hear your coaching. From when I walk in the school, good. I, I mean, I'm I'm that loud, guys. Good. I'm, I'm sorry. I just am. But anyway, I can show you. I, I actually have cards in here. Oh, or do you want to see them? I want to see them. Hold on now. You have cards in here. I do. This is awesome because this. I let's move ex- the tequila I ex- bottle. I should. Ex- I should. As ex- cool as that tequila bottle. I is. should explain a little bit more into these. Okay, let's do it. So, guys, Northland <laughs> breaks. These are repacks. So. Ty, Ty, like I said, our our backbone. He's the he's the the starter of the company. The guy works his butt off. Um, he go. He was just in Des Moines today and last night. Oh yeah, he said he was gonna be there. Yeah, I, I actually went down to Dallas with him. I know. I saw to that. a card show. We flew in a private jet. I, I mean, I couldn't. That's a memory I'll keep in my. It was a memory it's, I saw on my, on my Snapchat. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. oh, I'm like, you're in Dallas. I don't think you're coming to basketball this week. <laughs> I forgot to text you. <laughs> yeah, well, no, you texted me the day before. Yeah, yeah of course. That's me. But, um, but Ty goes around and buys cards yep. for these spe- and specifically. That sounds fun. It that kind of sounds fun. Oh, Because you get to, like, Watching choose. him in his element is so much fun. Ty... If you know Ty, Ty wears a cowboy hat when he goes to these things. It's <laughs> oh, awesome. You, I mean, you look around. I mean, there's thousands of people there. But you just look for the cowboy hat and Ty is, you can just see him. And you're like, and you run into it. <laughs> hey, I found this for you. But anyway, I will show you the Northern Lights. for These are repacks. Um, now, normally these would actually be sealed up plastic yes. wrap. So, yep. So what we do is we put them in a uh, plastic wrap. We have a heat gun and we heat them. Yep. And... So we don't know which card is coming out. We make 150 of these per week. Per week. Nice. So what we do is we basically make 150 of them, mix them up, and throw them in a box, like stack them nicely. Yep. And then we have no clue what's coming out. Yeah. So you guys actually personally pack these. I, but wouldn't, say, I wouldn't say always personally. Just a Everyone sometime. within the store sometime. is doing them. Yeah. So you guys <laughs> know that obviously you someone has – purchase these cards but you guys had them all randomly selected so you don't even know what you're opening when you open these things no clue whatsoever so for those who are wondering loop is an app where you can go on and you you're literally watching this you're watching it and there's also a text chat that you can throw in text messages or chat logs to as well and you're watching specifically Correct. what is coming out like teach he's breaking these all you everything it, is live i, I open it in front of the camera you'll hands. my hands are i've Sausage fingers. I have sausage fingers, guys. I do. So, anyway, we actually, we, we try to hit every sports group. Um, we actually do Pokemon. We, I, we haven't done a Pokemon. We're about to. I shouldn't say we actually do. We're about to do some Pokemon streams. And, um. God damn it. No, it's working. We're good. Yeah, but, but the anyway. top one's out. Oh, there you go. But anyway, um. Yeah, it's it's wild. The breaker starts from like nine to two thirty. Then Weber, everybody knows if you log into Loop, everybody knows Weber. I just met him today. Yep, Weber's a good dude. Good dude. We're actually trying to get him to coach football with us. Ooh. So Weber's 
actually the breaker that I, when I first started, when I would, when I was not working, but buying into Northland Brakes, yep. Weber was the guy I would focus on because I feel like Weber would, Weber would pull my gas, gas, like good cards. That's what we're getting into those, uh, those terminologies because Correct. I hear these terminologies, I'm like, what the hell are they talking about? Dome something. Well, I kind of get gas because you just kind of listen to the term or how the, the, the word is going. The new kids, yes, yeah. yeah. New kids. <laughs> yeah. And you're so young. Yeah. All right, so let's talk about these Northern Lights. So, okay, I want you to open up the Northern Lights. Okay. And let's see what cards you pull out of here. Northern Lights. So it's a more, blue box. More times than not, it's either a slab. Slab, I'll show you a slab. I have a slab in here. Terminology, what's a slab? A slab is like a card that has been sent to PSA. So okay. PSA is a, um, a grading company where they send it in and you get one through 10. Yep. Obviously 10 is the best. It's a gem mint 10. Yep. Um, nine is usually a near mint nine, which means it's close to being a 10 or a mint nine, which is, means it's kind of in the middle. And then you have, it just counts down. Perfect. Obviously, 10 is the best. Um, I actually have this card out of the Northern Lights. All right. So we have a Justin, or geez, Jalen Hurts rookie, 2020 Panini, 2020 Panini Phoenix, Jalen Hurts Fireburst, the Gem Mint 10. So this would be a ceiling card okay. for the Northern Lights. And, and what I'll does a ceiling card mean? That it's So a cool. ceiling for the Northern Lights is $100. Okay, so this is roughly worth 100 bucks. Pretty close, yeah. Okay. I would say that's probably around 80 85 Now, when it means that it's slabbed, does this mean we cannot open this unless we break it? Correct. Okay. Correct. So it's already in here. This is what you're getting. So if you're looking at this, it actually has on the top, it says exactly what the card is. On the back, you'll see PSA, and if you are into sports of any sort of memorabilia, you probably know PSA, but there are other grading companies out there, correct? Correct. SGC, Beckett's. Is this the one that's highly respected PSA the most? PSA is the highly, is okay. like the people that, yes. So this is Jalen Hurts. As you can see, there's a code on the back. You can also, when we break, oh, you nice. can take a picture of that code or the number, yep. and you can send it in, and you can see what it's actually worth. Oh, nice. Yeah. Very cool. Okay, so that was the Northern Lights. So if I had the Eagles, I get this card. Correct. But we're going to go on to the Woodshed So that's next. a Jalen Hurts rookie. I mean, this. we'll get to the talking of the rookie yeah. stuff here in a little sure. bit. Sure. Now, the next one is a Woodshed. Now, I had to so, spin the wheel in order to get this Yep, one. as you can see, the Woodshed's where? Right down the bottom. Correct. Right? So to, in order to win this card, you have to win the slice of the Woodshed. You have to land on your sure. spin there. So this is our... This is the guaranteed. Nice. Guaran I mean, this is the guaranteed great card. And the ceiling on that, once again, is what? Possibly 200 bucks? 200 Sometimes it floats above. But we do run specials, and I'll show you that here in a Ooh, second. Specials. We do run specials. All right, what do we got? Ty is great at the specials. So right now we have... Whoa. Oh, what do we got? So out of, the, out of the woodshed, we have a 2020 Panini Donruss Optic Gem Mint 10 Justin Herbert pink rated rookie the reason why this card is so expensive or so nice rated we you want to chase rookie cards okay so 2023 you want to chase texans colts okay texans because of cj stroud colts because of anthony richardson you want to chase quarterbacks sure basically. titans because of will levis and then the carolina panthers because of bryce and you're hoping they have good seasons through correct okay so cj stroud is an anomaly right now. For 2023? Correct. Okay. So CJ Stroud stuff is <laughs> off the charts. Like All guys, right. if you have CJ Stroud. Start looking to see if they're insert start, cards yes. because. So this is a pink. So again, we're going to get to that as well. This is a variation. As you can see, oh, I don't have any on me. That's but okay. This is a variation. It's pink. Yep. They have other colors, right? Correct. So a base would be white. Okay. This is pink. It's a Justin Herbert. Well, Justin Herbert was Herbert was known as a top five quarterback drafted. Okay, that's a I would say that's probably a hundred eighty to a two hundred dollar card. Nice, and it's a ten. So ten makes it even more valuable. Yeah, because I think if you go down to nine, and boy, it really drops the price. The nine drops it down. <clears throat> the nine basically drops it down to like a raw value. A raw means okay. that you just opened out of a pack and you put it in like a um, a sleeve and a top loader. Sure. That's raw. This is considered graded. Yep. 
And then I have more here. Okay, now you have this other special sometimes going on. It's called a guaranteed downtown. Correct. What is that? A guaranteed. So we have a lot of people that like to go downtown hunting. They only come out of. <laughs> downtown Winona? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's out of Donruss. Oh, okay. It's out of Donruss. Um, I don't have my. I have two Vikings downtowns because I'm a Vikings fan. Which ones do you have? Justin Jefferson. I sent, it into, to, I sent it into PSA, yeah. and I'm waiting for it to get attacked. How much does it cost to send something into PSA like that? 20 or 25. Okay. I'm, Can you go down the store and do that? Yep. Yes, yes, So yes, I can yes, just yes. take any card I want and be like, Absolutely. hey, send this in, please. Absolutely. How long does it take? A couple weeks? A couple so days? So the turnaround yeah. on that right now is five to six weeks because the NFL season has ended. Yep. So it's, it's a little quicker. Normally, it's six to eight weeks. Ooh. Okay, cool. So, so like, if he, wanted, if he wanted to go down and send a card in, PSA right here, if he wanted this card back, it would take probably five to six weeks. Okay. So, well now, now we run Ty, and this is Ty. It's his company. Sure. Let him, let him do what he, what he does. Ty, Ty is fantastic at this. Ty is great at promoting. He does, he does his job, and he, he does what he needs to. Downtowns are a specific variation. Okay. And they're specific, specifically out of Donruss. Donruss, okay. So I have a downtown Justin or Justin Herbert here with Ooh. me. Let's see what that looks it's, like. It's not a 10. I actually went and traded for this down in Dallas. I am the one of the biggest Justin Herbert fans in the world. Really? This is a downtown. So if you're watching on YouTube, take a look right now. He's got a, what was it, Justin Herbert? Justin Herbert downtown. Downtown. It looks very like a comic book almost, right? Yeah. So if you think of a charger, look at the background of the photo. Yep. It's, it's, it's all surrounded based on the like, theme. High, like, what is it, hologram? Yep. And then it has like specific LA chargers How the hell is this a nine? What's wrong with it? I'm not going to lie. Send it back in and see. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, guys. I'm not a PSA grader, so I have but no idea how looks, these go. This thing looks perfect. I how sick is that card, though? Dude, these are cool. You know, here's what happened. Gritty18, which is a friend of mine, he hit a downtown on night one. He hit, he I did. think, a Jadis, he did. He Jordan did. Addison or something downtown. And it was, I remember we were you were supposed to come over that night, but you got someone to come in, so you had to stick I around. I got slammed. I had to go in and work. And I was like, dude, I can't stay awake any longer. It was like 1 o'clock. I'm like, I'm so tired. But he was hitting, and we were in the basement cheering for him because he was spending, well, he didn't spend that much. He spent He was going, later. guys, he was going nuts. He was. Going he, nuts. Was. <laughs> he, he had he was going nuts. He had a very good night. He had a very good night, too, because he was hitting good things. And I was I mean, breaking for him. That yes, was me working that was for you, him. It was. You were supposed to be over hanging out with us. Correct. Going over all my cards but that I, I have. I can't leave the chair. You can't leave the chair. If stuff is going well. I know. You were there one night till like three thirty in the morning, and you came back in like the next day at like nine or ten. I go, did you just sleep over at night? I'm or obsessed. What happened? I, guys, it's a problem. I'm obsessed. Now you have a trunk of cards over there. Is there one in there that's like, I love this card? Because um, if I had to think back on my days, all the Michael Jordan. Teacher's going to come over some night. I'll uh, feed him some tequila or whatever I got to do to get him over there. <laughs> and he'll come over and grade my cards or at least tell me which ones might be worth something. But you just pulled out something. Here. I did what pull out got? something. So, as I told you, mm -hmm. you chase, you basically chase rookie quarterbacks. Yeah. Um, Weber and I, great friends. Weber and I, when he breaks, I try to be there, but he breaks during the day, like okay. the afternoon. Oh, sure. But when sure. I break, I break at night, and he always – you've been on. You, he hangs out with me. Yeah. And yep. Weber and I, we feed off each other. That's awesome. Which is great, which can't ask for anything else. No, because it, – well, It, it livens people up. It, it, I, we try to keep people in. We try to keep people engaged. That's basically what we're trying to do. Yeah. We want people to come into Northland Break and say, hey – Ty's breaking. 
Teach is breaking. Weber's breaking. Kyle's breaking. We know that they're going to pull us good, good yeah. shit. At least you hope so. We, we hope so. <laughs> now, when you're there in the middle of the night, which I'm talking 12, 1 o'clock in the morning, they're still doing this, folks. 12, 1 o'clock, it's still hot. The longest I've been out was 5, 13 in the morning. Is anyone else in the shop with you, or is it just you there by yourself? Just me. Trying to stay I locked awake. the front door, and I locked the back door. But if the chat is going great, it doesn't matter. Then. You have no idea what time it is. That, no yeah. idea. And like I said, to everyone that's listening or watching, each break, by the time you get through all the teams and you're doing your bidding or you're auctioning off and you get through it, you're talking about an hour. Yeah, yeah so, so let's not go pretty fast I for would you. say if, if, if multiple spins are being taken down, I would say a break, the fastest break I've ever had was 48 minutes. Sure. That's spins on my iPad here yep. and cards shown and sent out. Sure. Okay. So the send out, pro we have guys that do our shipping. Yep. Um, they do a great job. They handle them so well. Um, we protect, obviously, obviously if we pull a good card, I sleeve it and top load it, but they even protect it more with bubble wrap. Yep. And hands, I mean, hands down, best shippers we've ever, they're, they're great. So the card you just pulled out is a CJ Stroud rookie do. card, it looks yep. like. So, so what this is, makes that one so special, or why so do you like, like that So it looks like a bomb one? pop. So CJ Stroud. Oh, really? Let's bomb pop? You ever oh, had those I bomb see. pops? The blue, red, white, white blue? Red. Oh, that's so cool. So obviously, CJ Stroud is the highest card on the market right now. It, so are you going to get this one graded at all? I am going to get this graded. Nice. I, I actually bought a pack and pulled this on Wednesday. Oh, you just pulled that? I just pulled this oh, for so, myself. So I go down to the... I go down to the store every night after work. So his paycheck goes back to the store. <laughs> <laughs> or house payment. <laughs> oh, God. Do I have a wife and kids? I don't know. <laughs> uh, they're somewhere. But anyway, this card, I have been chasing this card. Oh. So I chased this card forever. I'm going to set it there. <laughs> it's just as good as the tequila bottle, folks. Yeah, yeah. No, uh, it's better than tequila bottle. But anyway, if that tends, I'm looking at it. Of a nice payday. Oh, good. If you sell it. If I sell If I sell it. You got to sell it first, yeah. I, correct. See, now I'm in this, the spot now where do I collect for my child, my kids? Yeah. Or do I sell for more? Sure. You know what I mean? Yep. Well, that's the thing, though. You don't know with cards. I mean, it was hot in the 90s. It kind of dropped off. And now it's back. But I think... I. And with Ty, I don't think this will ever stop. Well, you know, the thing is, though, with social media, it might not stop. I, Back in the day, I like, completely agree. Like you said, we had to go get a Beckett magazine to see what our stuff was worth. We're like, let's go get the newest Beckett magazine this month and see if our stuff mm -hmm. increased or decreased in value. So a little fun fact. We'll talk about boxes here soon. Oh, yeah. Um, man. Don't give it away. Had, we had somebody, the largest card I've ever pulled. And again, guys, this right here. This is not graded. It's not. It's 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 raw. I would consider this raw. So that's called raw. This when is it's called not raw. Graded. It's sitting in a sleeve. Yep. The largest card I've ever pulled was an Anthony Richardson rookie quarterback. You chase rookie quarterbacks. Yep. Out of ten, gold on a variation out of a prism. Ooh. Seventy-five hundred raw. And you pulled that for yourself or someone else? Someone else. Oh, somebody on somebody the bought into or yep. just. We call it we call it dome or domed a hobby box. So somebody came in, bought a complete hobby box. We'll get into the boxes here soon. Yep. Completely domed a hobby box. Sure. And dude, I'm not gonna lie. It was wild. worth seventy five hundred dollars raw. Now if it comes back as a ten. Which is slabbed, folks. Slabbed. So like here, I'm gonna slide this out of my way quick. That's cool. That's cool. So it comes back as a PSA slab, like one of these. We have seen comps, comps like prices, at twenty thousand. I'm selling that right away. If I pull, I'm something, not gonna lie, dude. I'm I might be selling like seventy five hundred raw. The, the, I might go get that dome and sell it, <laughs> yeah. or whatever you call it, yeah. you know, slab. I'm slab, sorry, slab, dome. I don't even know what the hell I'm talking about. But anymore. dude, Weber was with me. My, what was that just recently? Someone pulled a one of one something, and they were like, "Oh my god, Ty." The, the head guy just pulled a Jamar Chase one of one, which is insane. Okay, this was not Jamar Chase. I can't remember what it was. Um, the, the Anthony Richardson was out of 10. So um, I'll see if I have a numbered card. 
Yeah, just to so, show, just to show people what a numbered card looks yes. like. Yes. So numbered cards, I'm just while he's looking, they'll have like it's almost like it's not embossed, it's indented into it and it's yep. like one out of something, whether it's 399, whether it's 10, whether it's 199, they come in in all different ones. Those are more rare for those who are thinking about it and it makes have sense. One somewhere. Oh, I'm there. sure you do. And so when you're looking at these types of cards, you got to look, the more rare, obviously, the better they're going to be. So if you get like a base LeBron card right now, you're like, eh, it's not the biggest thing in the world because it's a base LeBron yep. card. However, if it was a numbered LeBron card, like one out of 100, even better. I don't know how you close I have one? to get to this screen, but I just pulled the first card off of it's my... Okay. You don't have to get that close. We'll just talk about it at yeah, least. So right now, this is a card. This is Trey McBride, rookie. Obviously, you want to chase, chase rookies. Yes. So this is a rookie card. Okay. This is an on-card auto, okay, which so makes it even more valuable. So that's another thing. When they say on-card, it means that the autograph is on the card, correct? On the card. So okay. I do have a patch card right here. Yep. That has a little sticker on it where they sign it. They sign the sticker, and, and the sticker just gets planted. Okay. This is an on-card auto. Is the on-card auto worth more then? Yes. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Now, a thing that Ty taught me was that if the marker is not blue or black, it's even more. No, if it's like red. So last night we pulled one. Last night I pulled a Trey Tucker. I have weird memory, guys. I remember everything I pull. Trey Tucker green pen. Ooh. Way different. That, that ups the value. Even better. So anyway, right here, right here, um, there is a, there's a little print in the card. It says 99, so it means that there's only 99 of these made. Okay. Now, what makes this card so special is that it's either one out of 99, his jersey number, so number one off the print out yep. of 99, his jersey number, which is number 85, which is an, the second best value, or the last card made off the... So 185 or 99 Correct. would be the so, best. Uh, if you think of Justin Jefferson, yep. he's number 18. Number one's the best. 18 is probably the second best. And then let's just last? say we're out of 99. 99 would be the third best. Nice. This card right here, Trey McBride on card auto. What's out, that of out of 99 out of 99. Oh. I had last on the print. Nice. I mean, how crazy is that? What are the chances you pull the three cards out of 99? I don't know. Exactly. Well, one in. One in 99. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. However, there's a multiple boxes that you're buying. Correct. Now, Correct. I have a card that I doubt you have in your case over there. Okay. It's one out of 50. And it, I'm interested. It's a Chris oh. Jacobson Bruise and Cruise card. No way. One out of oh, oh. oh, shit. It might not be a 10 anymore. <laughs> you might want to get this one slabbed up quick. What is this? Send in to PSA. Dude, this is sick. This is me. Thank you. I'm the host. I love this. I got my own Bruise and Cruise trading cards. <laughs> I love For those it. who want some. Oh, if you I ever got number one out of 50? No, I think oh, they all say that. I kind of, <laughs> of want to give you a hug for that. <laughs> if you would have said it was number Let's one. Let's hug after me. I don't know about these cords. These cords <laughs> suck. But the other thing I also bought was I went over to Northland Briggs today, and I bought us. Guys, we have gas. There's gas at Northland Briggs. Just selling you. I got a Prism. Uh, was it 2023? This is a 2023, so we would be chasing Anthony Richardson. Not Peyton Manning? You're, well, <laughs> the I mean, on the cover a Peyton not? Manning autograph. Would well, be I'm insane. That. You know what other one I would love is an O.J. Simpson glove patch card. That'd be great. Um, you want to know a little fun fact? A Brett Favre dick pic photo. <laughs> I would love that one, too. I think that'd be great. I don't know if we're pulling those at Northland. <laughs> okay, well, we get it. I swear it's the only one out I there. have an O.J. Simpson autograph. I have an O.J. Simpson card, but not autograph. That's sweet. My dad gave it to me when I turned 18. Is it worth anything? Yes. I don't know what actually what it's worth, but I do know it's going to be worth something. Because I ain't getting rid of that card forever. Yes. Unless it's worth... Big money. Big money. Now, the other thing I got from Northland Bricks was, if you're watching, I got ourselves a little this razor, basically, is all it is. But anyways, this is how they open up the cards. Correct. Like the pros. And since I have uh, the favorite son of Northland Brakes on loop. I wouldn't call me the favorite. I'm just a little hot at the time. Well, but I I'll want hot. It. I want gas. Oh, so we're, we don't want to crack this baby. We're cracking it. Okay. And you're going to crack it for me because I want you to do what you normally do in the evenings when you're you doing want me these. You 
<laughs> yes, I want you to do that. Dude, right. have you not, the last 30 minutes, you've been so passionate about this. I want you to do the same thing you do on Loop. Let Guys, me know if I got some. Log because into Loop. If you don't know, I also have some top wow, and some sleeves. Wow, you came so prepared. You told me I got gas. I want, well, I, so, I hope it's not like gas. The, like, so uh, let's get into this. This is called a Mega Box. A okay. Mega Box is slightly bigger than a blaster. Okay. Um, megas, blasters, and hangers and cello. I would say hangers, blasters, megas, and hang, uh, value pack to be caught or bought at retail stores. We also have boxes that are bigger than this. Okay. They're hobby boxes. They're more on the higher end. Yeah. But you're, it's panini. You're not guaranteed anything, but you're almost guaranteed more inserts, more, sure. more hit cards. Hit cards meaning more rare cards? Correct. Okay. Good. Correct. So we, have, well, we also have boxes that are pin, pin, uh, Panini Ones. We have National Treasure. It's the largest box I've ever opened. It's 2700 a box. What? Oh, 2700 a box? At least at, this, at the time we did it. But they, they, like, guys, it's just like stock markets. They yeah, do I this. Yes. They do this. So at the time, that's when it was. And Yikes. $2,700. Guys. Folks, $2,700. This is a hobby that can go anywhere from like 3 bucks to 2700 bucks, and probably even more. Oh, there's definitely more. Oh. So oh. as this box says, it says you get five mega pink or mega box exclusive pink. Jeez. Just throw it at me next time. Pink <laughs> cards in here. So we're looking for pink or we're looking for variation. The variation... I pulled a, an, an Anthony Richardson. Did we just talk about this? The Anthony Richardson card. Out well, of let's 10 talk about gold. it again because I want to know what I'm looking for here when you're so breaking. So somebody bought in, somebody purchased a hobby box of one of these. And that's not a hobby, right? This is not a hobby. This okay. is a mega, so it's the step lower. Okay. The hobby box is a big box. Like, sure. It's what everybody tries to chase. Okay. And I pulled an Anthony Richardson gold out of 10. Well, like I said, was seventy five hundred raw. So we could possibly have that here. Possibly. Yeah. I think the highest we will get was probably a silver. But and guys, silver means that you'll see the base cards. I'll explain that to you when we get to it. Gotta watch this. This would be a great episode if you're listening to watch on YouTube. Correct. Basically. Um. I'm not saying I know everything because I'm still learning as yep, well. No, you know more than we do. But I'm there sure. is, you'll see that there is different colored cards in here. Yeah. Those are the inserts or the cards that you want to collect. Okay. Obviously, you're looking for rookie cards. Okay. So we'll start now. All right. You so, sure you don't want to open one? Well, I might open one, but I want you to do it, man. You got the hot hands. I, dude, when I open, I get uh, red skins. I get lions. <laughs> Would that give me one card? So now, as you guys can see. All right. What do we got here? So as you can see, we got seventy five hundred bucks. Gone. What? See that? <laughs> what do you see in there? I see a football player. It looks like a. Do you see? Do you, do you see down the line? I see a pink. So. Oh, oh I see what you say. Yes, yes. So, so there's we, a pink in there. As you guys can see, I'll bring it a little closer. There's a pink. So that is your variation. Okay. So the other ones are base cards. Is that correct? The, uh, not necessarily. Sometimes you could pull like a C.J. Stroud base. C.J. Stroud base cards are. Hold on. What'd you just take out? That. Oh, sorry. That's my favorite one. <laughs> so the kid reporter. Occasionally, God. the Super Bowl's already done. You get a kid reporter. Your kid can go out there and report. It's the mandatory it reporter, goes, I call it. We call that the throw pile. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, one. so the first okay. card. Cool. What we do have we got a, here? Let's we have a Darnell Mooney. So Ooh. these are base cards. As right. you can see, they're just base. There's no color insert. As Look, you can you see, you'll see the next one. Tyree Kill. Okay. Okay. Nothing there. Oh. Taysom Hill. Okay. Najee Harris. Now we're at your pink. All right. I'm a pink. So now let's do it. I pull slowly because you want this to be a rookie card. Yep. So if I pull, I know where the rookie lo logo is on these cards. Top so right, the logo right. on the rookie card will be right here in the top right. All right. After a while, you start figuring that out. Come on. We do not have a rookie. We, we have, do have a rookie. Oh, we got a Buccaneers rookie. It's we Tom a, Brady. We have, a <laughs> <laughs> we have a Buccaneers rookie. So it's Yaya Diaby. So you oh. still sleeve it because it's okay. a variation. Cool, we sleeve so it. I'll, I'll give I'll, that I'll to him. I'll do that. I'll do that. I'll do sleeving here. Then we have then the rookie cards start to come out. Ooh. DTR. This is Dorian Thompson Robinson. That's a rookie card. And you have the Prismatic. They usually throw one of these in there. I have You're, that in a CJ strap. Correct, and that's a good card. Oh. Is it gray or is it a different color? Do you know? Um, I don't know. 
I'll it's text probably you later. a good card. Probably a good card. So right now the best one is yeah yeah. Correct. Okay. So then cool. I would still top load. Top, oh, top loading that one. Because you know what? What if that guy turns into a Hall of Famer? What if he turns into a guy that fights dogs on the side? Uh, easy, Michael Vick. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Anyway, all right, we're on the next so now, one. Here we boys. go. Here we go. I'm sorry. I'm just gonna throw the card. Desmond Ritter prismatic is worth nothing. Nothing. God. Where did Kirk Cousins go? Oh yeah. Yeah. That so now, sucks. as you can see here, we have a thicker card. We do. Yes. So this usually Ooh, means that baby. there is either a, more than likely a patch. Okay. So you, you'll see yes. a patch card here. We're hoping for C.J. Stroud. Yes, we are. Or, or Anthony the, Richardson. Uh, or the O.J. Simpson. An... Glove. <laughs> With blood on it, please. So we'll start here. We have a Jalen Thompson. That's a base. Okay. Uh, Shaquille Leonard. Sorry. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's okay. Matt Judon. Now, here's the difference here. Ooh, Look at I, the difference here. There's a difference. That one's all pretty. That's a silver. It's Mark Brunel. Yeah. It, it, <laughs> you're, wishing it was, you're wishing it was a rookie. I'm wishing it was. But, but that was, that's a Mark Brunel silver. <laughs> You're making me anticipate here. We're going to pull from the back because we're going to make you... We call this sweating. Ooh, yes. We're going to make him wait to see what that card is. Stop so we're going to pull it. this out. We have a Lucas Van Ness rookie. Okay. And then we have a... I'm going to turn it so you can't see the back either. Nice. And then we have a... Who's that? Israel Banacanda okay. rookie. So now... Okay, now we got a thick card, folks. It's not necessarily a rookie, but this should have a patch on it. Okay. We're going to pull slow. As you can see, it's upside down. So what I do is I flip it Silly and I pull back to, <laughs> and I pull back down. And now I start to learn the terminology on the back. Okay. Like I that, I know that's a premier jersey. Okay. Is that good? It's gonna be a Saint Chris Alave. Chris Alave on Chris, the Saint. So now we Patch. have a jersey card in paint. Nice. Is that not decent? bad? Not bad. I don't have anything to load that with. It's too thick. Yeah, this would be like a that. thicky. So thicky. we have different sizes of these things. Yeah, these are just for regular. When you cards. break that would be a different size. So is this a patch from his jersey? Um, so it would tell you on the back. So I'll pick this up, and I'm very careful with it. Okay. It says the enclosed authentic mem memorabilia is not from any specific game, or, but sometimes it will be. Okay. Like in the store, we have a Charles Barkley jersey that was game, game used, guys. Charles Ooh, Barkley. Ooh, snap, girl. How sick is that? Dude, that's awesome. So, so this could have been just from any random jersey he had? Or just a random jersey. Just in a random jersey in general. Oh damn. Yep. So okay, I'm I get looking here. That fits this one, folks. You see a pink. See a pink. So now we're hoping for CJ Stroud. CJ Stroud. Yeah, we're hoping for that. Guys, one. And I get the, a lot of packs have the kid reporters, so I just do that. Yep. There you go. Just like David Letterman. So did. Jerome Ford. Dumb. Daniel Carlson. Stroud, Real dumb. Minka Fitzpatrick. Exactly. Oh, come on, let's get a rookie here. Who's John? What? <gasps> Eagles. Eagles. Uh, oh, sick though. Brian yeah. Dawkins. Really? Brian Dawkins. I mean, how would you like to hit hit by this guy? I don't know. <laughs> I'd rather not be hit by any of them. I'd rather make some <laughs> yeah. money. Let's go. Then we have a Chase Brown and a Kalijah Cansey. Okay, so that was an okay pack. It was an okay. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We still got more to go, folks. I mean, if you found an Eagles fan that wanted to buy that, you'd probably be making a decent amount of money. All right, get my money back because I spent 85 bucks on this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, again, now blasters are a little cheaper than 80, than megas. Yep. Hobby boxes, they can reach... I think the biggest one we have right now is twelve hundred. You have a twelve hundred, okay. But I, I you can't really find these though in the stores. That's a problem. You have to go to they're like tough. a specific. They're yeah. tough. People are buying this stuff out like crazy. Yep. Prism and Mosaic. That's another brand. Um, they sell out really fast. So if you hold on to these, the value of them. So a blaster was like seventy bucks right now. Sixty bucks would be one hundred twenty bucks in like two months. Oh, okay. Might just go so, buy them all. Yeah, and then a mega would be 200 plus. Yeah. Okay. So, gotcha. as you can see here, we have a we pink, pink and a silver. I can see it already. Oh, he already knows we got something good, folks. So, I'm going to pull from the back. All we right. have another Desmond Ritter. Oh, God. <laughs> Kendra Miller. Hopefully, he's the starter next year. Okay. You don't sold. know what they're going to do with oh, Alvin Kamara. that's a rookie Kamara. card, huh? Yep. Okay. Patrick Queen. All right. Dalton Schultz. Got it. Jalen Hurts. Here's our silver. So now this is where you're looking for that variation. Oh, I can see it's got a little different yep, color. Yeah, you can to see it. that. I don't know if you can see it on this on the thing, but you can see it. You're looking for them like holding like something like this, or they're just kind of like a, taking a portrait photo. Okay. So let's we'll see here. <gasps> what do I got? What do I got? It's upside down. It's upside down. You silly. It's upside down. It's a falcon. 
Ow. It's a Tyler Algier. Not terrible. Not terrible. Do it's I sleeve not, it or not? I would sleeve it okay. still. We'll sleeve it now still. you're pink. Ooh, here we go. It's upside down again. Okay, we're looking for a rookie. We have a rookie. Ooh. It's for uh, Justin Herbert, right? It's for the Chargers. Justin Herbert? So this is going to be 2023, so it won't be Herbert. Okay. Herbert's rookie year was 20. Where's my card at? 2020, I believe. Oh, never mind. Then so this is going to be a Chargers rookie. It's going to be Elijah Dotson, so it's, okay. it's all right. Son of a bitch. Okay, well, we still got two more backs, folks. Keep, the, keep your fingers crossed. You know what I need? I need a refill. Yeah, put a little bit more in there. While I, while I top load <laughs> these sleeves. I ain't putting these ones in top loaders. My Michael Jordans are worth more, I bet. But we still have two packs to go, and I'm going to kill it here. So as I break, I always do this. I slide to see if we have anything major, like, special. Okay. This pack would not. Occasionally, there is something that absolutely, like, slaps, new day term. You uh, know that's good. Yes. As you can see, there's a kid reporter in the yes, back. Yes, I can't wait for that one. I'm going to the Super you, Bowl. You, you can, you can have <laughs> there we go. We got Tony right. Pollard on the base. That was Barry Sanders. Derwin. <laughs> yep. Sick. That'd be Derwin sweet. James, Malik Willis, who? Quinn and Williams. So we got our pink here. Okay. I'm going to pull it towards you for some good All right, let's do it. For good luck. Come on. I'm, oh, Chiefs, let's go. Now, Patty Mahomes. Now you're hoping for Patty Mahomes. All right. Or Rasheed Rice. It's not a rookie. It's a Patty Mahomes. Oh, shit. It's a, oh. God. It's a good Darius Tony. <laughs> Tony's baloney. The only guy, the only guy that can be inactive because he can't catch. Okay. Oh, is that oh, the guy that couldn't catch? Yes. And then, hey, we hey, got look. a Sam Laporta rookie. Hey, this guy's good. That was the one I was looking you for last night. You sleeved that. Yes, you. He bought it. I broke last night. I bought into a he Lions bought into guy. One. Nothing. And it is actually shocking because the Lions hit so often. You know which one usually hits the most is always the Chiefs. I see. Yes. Well, they're Super Bowl champs. Yeah, Super Bowl champs. All right, I, want have, the, I want the Taylor Swift card. We have... That's expensive. We, okay, we have Last Pack Magic <clears throat> Oh, here. my gosh, Last Pack so Magic. So we, we always call it Last Pack Magic. It's Last Pack. Hopefully something <laughs> But since I bought it, out. the magic is going to run out. I can't tell if that's a silver <laughs> or not. I'm hoping you pull something each year. So am I, so I keep coming back for more. Um, that'll work. BJ, B. John Robinson base. Oh, God, let's get it. You'll take that. I have some more sleeves for you if you need them. Yeah, we do, probably. We have a Anton Harrison rookie. Don't need to sleeve. No need. Then I know that your purple card's right here. <laughs> yep. Your pink. We'll go Andy Dalton, <laughs> Aaron Jones, Chris Godwin. Okay. Here we go. We have our silver. Damn it. It's ah. Anton Harrison. It's all right. It's all right. It's a, it's a silver, so you'll take it. And then we have a Von Miller. It's going to be a Hall of Famer here. Yeah. Pink. You'll take that. Throw her in. I mean, it's not, it's, okay, we're done with the box. It's not the greatest box, but you have some cards that. But that's what gambling is. It is. Yeah. So. It was fun, though. It was. I appreciate it. Yeah. Um, I don't know if I have anything for this Alave. You, Obviously, guys. We're going to take a look after the yeah. episodes. I've right. been collecting since I've started with Ty, I think, <coughs> the end of October. I'm still learning. There's cert there, I'm going to sit back, but there's certain stuff that I don't know. Um, but that's okay. But the guys that I work with help me and teach me. Yeah, and teach the teach. Correct, yeah. And <laughs> those guys, I would, they're great. Like, yeah. The it North is, Wind it's a rush, guys. If you haven't gone on Loop and checked out, it's pretty crazy. I've watched the other ones on Loop. And they're just usually sitting there trying to sell packs of cards. You guys are doing this wheel We're thing. We're constantly all day. <clears throat> You're all day. I know. You can tune in at like 9 o'clock in the morning. It's going. You tune in at midnight. It's still going. Like I said, we are the best <clears throat> breakers on loop. Yes. It's been very um, fun. Back to the Anthony Richardson card. Um, there's a YouTube video of a guy that judges cards the top 10 for a week. I hit the number 10 out of the top oh, 10. Oh, really? I don't know what the guy's name is. I was my Maybe he'll tune into this podcast. He might. That'd be fantastic. You might share it to him and say, yes. hey, hey, we're talking to Teach we're from Northland. To... Yes, remember him? But he made it on. I mean, you guys gotta hop onto loop, L O U P E. Yep. We're constantly on there. Um, 
great personalities. Yes, it's very fun. 9 a.m. to whenever we finish, 2.30 a.m. Even if you just want to listen, it's kind of fun just to listen. I do that all the time. I sometimes just tune in to listen. Come on. It's basically like being a, I would call it being a bro. Yeah, it's a broski. It basically is. <laughs> yes. you're, 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 we also have a Discord. Um, yeah, I heard you getting into some new stuff here. Some new stuff, yep. Um, we have a Discord. We have a website. Hop on to Northland Breaks. I think it all leads you to the Discord. It leads yep. you to Loop. Um, constantly trying to better ourselves. Yes. Well, I mean, it is it is addictive. Um, it's It kind of takes I, you back to your childhood. It, I, I, and see, you know what? Why is that? Why why should we not live our, relive yeah, our childhood? Yeah, that's okay. Why not? Everyone's got what they want to do. It might be cars. It might be cards. The cars are sick. I wish. It, it might be something totally different. Some people get into many different things. Some people like to go to the casino, and you don't get any return. At least I got some cardboard. No, I mean, <laughs> it wasn't the greatest box. Nope. We got a few but things But you probably it. have 25 bucks back. Sure. Great, and it was an $80 box. Yep. Maybe if they do good, I'm, I'm good. But the next box, you never know. You never it know. could be a $3,000 yeah. box. Yeah. That's just where it, that's just where it is. Sure. So, well, um, was, uh, do you have anything else you want to add? Card-wise? Um, I, uh, again, guys, join, join Loop. Follow Northland Breaks. Yep. You go in the later nights or later times of the day, you'll hear Teach on yep, there. Yep, I'm a late night breaker. I work mm -hmm. during the day, so. But it's a lot more fun when you hear him talking because he really amps up some of these cards that you may not think are worth anything. Because like some of these, I'm like, oh, I don't know. You're like, you might want to keep that one because you go on, you're like, hey, they might have a good year. They had a good year, and I don't follow. You never know when one of those guys are going right. to break out. You know, it's a funny thing you say that because I have a Kobe Bryant high school card. Which is I sick. Think, you yeah. sent me that photo. Yeah. Sick. I don't know anything about Kobe Bryant back in 1996. Turns out he's a legend now. Yep. So you never know you, one of these you, cards. You absolutely never know. Yep. So if you get an insert, you always keep it. That's, yes. that's, how, that's what I live by. Yeah, sure. You keep it unless something, something happens. Yeah. You never know. Right. You just don't. Um, if it's not me breaking, it's Ty, it's Weber, it's Ke Kyle. Guys, they're all great personalities. Yeah. Ty is the owner. You will you'll fall in love with him immediately. Absolutely. Yeah. The guy the guy cares more about you than he I think he does himself. Sure. I yeah. mean the guy does everything for you. Yeah. I mean I wouldn't say for you, but the guy generally genuinely cares. Yeah. So. He's got his hands in a lot of different things in Winona. I know that Great, much. and he's a great dude. Yeah, great good. dude. Well, I want to thank you for coming on. This has been absolutely amazing. We've had I'll shake some... with the left, but it's a little awkward. But... Let's just hold hands. <laughs> We've okay. had some great tequila. We've had some crappy tequila. But all in all, it's been a very fun time. Um, for those who are watching or listening, please go on to YouTube, subscribe, comment, leave me whatever kind of – review you can it's a great guys it's a great podcast yeah. i've watched almost every single Except obviously not wife. the first one no not the first <laughs> one with my wife <laughs> but i have been told they're getting better by my friends they go each one seems to get a little better like it's just more natural for guys, you guys he makes it so easy like, yeah Chris, we've been doing this for what one hour and 40 minutes we've been going roughly no way and we've just been sitting here chit-chatting like we normally you do. told me an hour originally and i was like oh Never man i'm know. nervous yeah, you never know. Dude, we've been almost going for... I think the card segment so far has been about 45 minutes. Damn. Just the card segment. And I knew we would, and that's cool, because I'm always trying to keep them somewhere in like the hour and a half range. But uh, if you're on, if you want to go on, we got a website. i got a website, www.bruisingcruisepodcast.com. It will link you to the Spotify, the iHeartRadio, the Apple Podcast, and also to the YouTube. Some of these you got to YouTube, like today... The last half of this, you probably want to YouTube to see the cards that we pulled and just to get an idea of what we're doing. But again, I want to thank Teach. Hey, join Loop, please. I mean, yeah, come join follow Loop. Northland Breaks, guys. It's, I mean, it's addictive. It's addictive and it's fun. Uh, it's, I listen to it on my when I'm doing my car. You don't even have to. You don't even have to purchase anything. Yeah, no. Just come hang out with the guys. It's a free app. We try to make it as absolutely as fun as possible. Yep, I agree. And I'm going to hop on later tonight. So. Yeah. All right. So am I. Yeah. So <laughs> he works there. He's gonna go on. Yeah. I mean, you go on there and you just. I wouldn't say it's like talking with the bros, but it, it is. It is. And I'm, you don't I'm know not the bros. excluding women either. Like I'm just saying, go on there, have fun, yep. have fun in the chat, yep. say something. 
wild. Yeah, the yeah the Washington Foreskins are a shitty team, <laughs> and that comes up every week, every night. I am that guy, and he happens to pull them all the time. <laughs> I got one. You know what I do have? I did get one autograph. I don't even know who it was. You did. Out. I actually pulled that for you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm trying. Diami Brown. Oh. I do remember. You remember now. it? Oh I, my gosh, dude! It's I just remember. sitting in one of my top loaders at home, so I don't even know. <laughs> it was a Diami Brown. Yep. You, you know where he's from? Remember, guys? I know where people go to college. Uh, Minnesota. North Carolina. North Carolina. Come on, I'm, raise it. Who's playing? Oh, they're still playing. Yeah, they are. North actually, Carolina. I think they just won. But Perfect. Well, anyways, again, I want to thank you for coming on. This has been awesome. And let's get one more cheers to our tequila from Cozumel. Thank you guys for tuning in and have a fantastic week. Appreciate you guys. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you.